Hi everyone, this is Swag MCAT, and I'm here today to talk about Jean Piaget's Stages of Cognitive Development. It is likely the highest yield concept in the psychology-sociology section. Let's jump right into the first stage, the sensor and motor stage. The sensor and motor stage is marked by sensing and motoring, or sensing and physically reacting to the world. Two hallmarks make up the sensor and motor stage. The first is relatively self-explanatory. Repetitive behaviors, which are also called circular reactions due to their cyclical or repetitive behavior. The second is lack of object permanence. Object permanence means that you realize an object is still there even when you can't see it. This is why playing peekaboo is so fun for infants. When you cover up your face, then they really think it has disappeared. The sensor and motor stage ends when a child gains object permanence at around two years old. This brings us to the pre-operational stage. Now that the child has gained object permanence, they can start to interact with our world more fully. However, they still have significant cognitive limitations due to their age. The first is egocentrism. Egocentrism is centering on our own ego, or only caring about our own wants and desires and not considering others. This is closely aligned with an inability to perspective take, or put ourselves in the shoes of others and understand different perspectives. The second cognitive limitation is the inability to understand conservation, or more specifically, the conservation of mass. To test whether a child had the ability to understand conservation, Piaget would pour water from a short and wide glass into a tall and skinny glass. Even though a child in the pre-operational stage could see Piaget pour the water, they would still say that there was more water in the second glass because the water level was higher. Finally, a child gains the ability to understand symbols in the pre-operational stage. For example, a five-year-old can understand that a stop sign is not just a red octagon, but a command to stop your car before continuing through the intersection. Next, we have the concrete operational stage. In this stage, the child has discarded their egocentrism and can now understand the perspectives of others. They can also understand conservation. At this stage, they are capable of logical reasoning with physical objects or concrete objects. Our last stage is a formal operational stage. This stage is marked by abstract reasoning and problem solving. One good example is being able to predict what could have hypothetically happened in a story if a character had done something differently. Let's cover one last point. Piaget faced criticism for his theory of cognitive development. Many thought that he underestimated children by setting the age limits too late in development. For example, many children understand the concept of conservation before they turn seven. That brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to use this chart in your studying, and best of luck on your exam!